Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, his short story titled Memories We Lost earned him the 2016 Camp Prize, which uh, is an annual international writing prize award awarded to African writers with exceptional short stories published in English. Two weeks ago, he was announced as one of the four winners of the 2016 Moland Writing Scholarship, which will see him take a year of work and focus on writing his debut novel, which will be titled Let Your Children Name themselves which follows the story of a young gay boy trying to deal with his truth we're talking about the writer behind the daily assortment of astonishing things and other stories his name is Elitutu Malingade Mboti and he joins us now from our Seapoint studios to tell us more uh, good morning welcome to morning live Good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Merry Christmas. Let's start with your collection of short stories titled The Daily Assortment of Astonishing Things and Other Stories. What is it all about? Uh, just a little correction. It's not my collection of short stories. Mm. So what it is, is a collection of short stories from around Africa and my story Memories We Lost is in that collection. Right. Um, so there's a couple of writers in there as well and I think the themes range from a lot of things. Uh, it's a different uh, themes from around the continent that writers are writing about. Let's talk about the one story that's in this collection. What is that about? So my story, Memories We Lost, is a narrative of two sisters who live in the villages and one of them has schizophrenia. So the story then becomes an exploration of the sort of traditional and sort of way of dealing with schizophrenia. And also this, because the sisters are younger, so they are aware of other means of uh, dealing with schizophrenia. So then the story becomes a sort of a, an old generation against the new generation in terms of how you know you deal with mental illness. Let's talk about you know putting this uh, story together. And, you know which what did you have to tap into to m make sure that the reader sort of understands what you're trying to say. Very good question. Um, it's. I think for me, writing has always been a way to write of the things that I deeply care about. Um, so the thing that I was really interested in when I was writing the story was to get a, this a sort of like a point across to people about how people in the villages live, but also I wanted to explore the idea of what it means um, for a mother to go to such lengths to try and cure her daughter and also the sort of like the dangers of that. So I had to be completely aware of this politics of how people see the villages, but also in writing the villages, I was very careful not to romanticize the experience. So I was treading a very careful line between writing about villages where I grew up and, and a place that I truly love, but also I was careful not to overly romanticize the dangers of you know what happens in the villages. And, you know, on a personal and a professional note, what do prizes like the Kane Prize mean to you? I mean, the Kane Prize is, is any prize for a writer, I think, is important because you, you begin to kind of have a wider readership, which is what every writer wants. Um, so the exciting thing for me was, was that. But also the other thing for a writer, I mean, writers work alone. So most of the time we write in sort of like not with people. And so when you get a prize, for me, it's, it's an encouragement to carry on writing. And, and I think that is needed for any writer. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, you're one of four writers who will spend 2017 uh, focusing on writing a debut novel uh, courtesy of the Molan Writing Scholarship. Tell us about your application and what made it stand out. Um, that's another difficult question. I, I don't know what made it stand out, but I think the... So, so the way that the scholarship is structured is that you have to pitch your book and you have to submit a piece of writing. And, and it's, it's those two things that get you in. And I think for me, the, the, the one thing that I'm, I'm really passionate about is the story that I, I, I am going to write. So I think, I think I managed to capture that in the application. And I think the people who made that decision 
um, saw that in the story because it's, it's a story that I feel passionate about and, and I'm really excited to be writing. Yeah. Are you able to give us a brief synopsis of what the novel will be about? I try not to do that because, I mean, I, a couple of months ago I kind of knew and then it has changed. And I, I'm afraid if I tell you now and you catch me in a few, two years or something or three <laughs> and you read the book and you are going to call me a liar. So I, I you know. Yeah. What do you say, though, to a young writer who's crippled by fear, you know, who's not even putting his work out there? It's very difficult. I mean, it's very difficult to write, especially because there's such amazing pull of writers everywhere. You know, people are writing very good writing. I think the important thing is to like really believe in what you are writing. I mean, th with writing, there's always two things. It's sort of like the passion of the story you're telling, and there's also sort of like the technicality of the writing. For me, I think if you are really passionate about your story and you feel that people have to absolutely hear it, that they, can't, they cannot go through life without reading your story, then you should write it. At what point, though, for you, did you know for sure that you wanted to be a writer? Well, I still don't know. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. But I think for me, the important thing for me when I started writing and to this day has been that I have stories that I have, that have stayed with me for a long time that I've been thinking about over, you know, over my life since I started writing. And I want to tell them. And, and I don't know if, you know, I'm going to call myself a writer once the novel comes out or if I will be even qualified to be called one. But what I care about is telling those stories and, and, and I intend to do so. You know, the significance of that title though, Let Your Children Name Themselves. What, is, what went into coming up with that title and, you know, making sure that it marries into the book? So I am a huge fan of poetry. So poetry is my first love. Um, and then, you know, even before fiction. So that title comes from one of my favorite poets. Uh, his name is Saul Williams. Um, so he's got a poem and, and there's, a, there's a line in the poem that says, let your children name themselves. And I was thinking a lot about the book and, and sort of like what it means to be a gay boy growing up in the villages. And Let Your Children Name Themselves for me was such a striking title because it says a lot about allowing the children to be themselves. And I think it really begins when they are born, even sort of like before they even understand who they are and what they want. And I thought Let Your Children Name Themselves is like an apt way to name the novel. And I think, you know, it, it's really for me, it's... it's even to this day when I think about it, it's really a powerful title, I think. Mm. I need to ask you this before I let you go. What does your name mean? Uh, so my name is Li Dudu Malingani. It's really a combination of two names. Li Dudu in Kosa is thunder yeah. and Lingani is no rain. So basically, if, if you're going to have to bring it down to English, it would be thunder with no rain. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. Litutu, thank you so much for talking to us. Have an amazing Christmas. Thank you very much. All right. This year, Litutu Malingani Umboti earned two pats on the back from the international literary community. The first one is a kind uh, prize and the second one will afford him a year away from work and funds to put together his debut novel. It is the Moreland Writing Scholarship. He's a writer behind the daily assortment of astonishing things and other stories. Well, his story is one of them. And he will spend 2017 writing a story called, well, that is already, he's already written that. Let your children name themselves. He